Hey there, my name is Josh Diotti, Van Guru here at Van Do It, and today we are here to talk about the air conditioner. The air conditioner is a great option for those who are traveling to warmer climates that you may have otherwise avoided. You can do various activities throughout the day, but rest easy knowing you can come back to a cooled van. So, the goal of this video today, we're going to talk about some of the product features as well as get into some of the questions that you might ask yourself to decide if this is right for you or not. So let's talk about some of the obvious reasons you might consider the air conditioner. The first thing I tell every client to consider is geography. For those who are living and or traveling to high humidity or high temperature locations, the air conditioner works to provide a level of control over the interior temperature of the van. The real strength of the air conditioner is removing a level of humidity from the van. So, if this applies to you, this may be something for you to consider. In addition to geography, I always encourage every client to consider the terrain they will be traveling in as well. Or maybe a more official term would be ecosystems. Whether that be mountain, beaches, deserts, forests, you name it, all of this can come together to be important for a couple different reasons. This brings a couple important factors to mind. First one being temperature. Obviously, if you're going to be traveling in higher elevation, the temperature could be cooler. So if this is going to be your normal, then the air conditioner may have less value for someone who's gonna be in the beaches or desert. A second factor that comes to mind is electric plugins. Some of these ecosystems, generally speaking, will have more plugins than others. For example, a desert, you may not find as many plugins or campgrounds as you would say in the mountains or in the forest. So keeping this in mind can definitely contribute to deciding if the air conditioner is for you or not. We have had several clients bring back their van and swap the air conditioner for an additional air vent. The majority of these clients' usage revolved around higher elevation lakes and forests, typically where the temperatures are cooler at night. If you're someone that's going to be doing these types of travels along with others, then you can do an air conditioner and an air vent in conjunction together. As previously mentioned, having access to an electric hookup is definitely a reason to consider the air conditioner. But what about those who are wanting to run the air conditioner while not plugged in anywhere? Is that even possible? I'm glad you asked, and the answer is yes. Ultimately, it will depend on what battery bank you get. So let's talk a little bit about that. We offer two different types of battery systems here at Banduit, your AGM battery system and your lithium battery system. The AGM and air conditioner combo is meant for those who are going to have access to electric plugins. Having an electric plug-in will be required 100% of the time if you have an AGM battery system and are wanting to run the air conditioner. So, air conditioner and AGM combo can work really well for those who are gonna be traveling out of national parks, campgrounds, or family members' houses. But, if you're wanting to find that sweet spot and be able to run the air conditioner for, say, a night at a time without being plugged in, then the lithium battery system would need to be what you consider. Now, important note for you, if you're wanting to run the air conditioner for more than one night at a time, you will need to pack a generator, regardless of which battery system you have. Essentially, the benefit of lithium is that you can run that generator during the day for an hour or two to recharge yourself, whereas the AGM, you would have to run it all night long. Now, another question I would pose to you is how new you are to camping. Now, even if you're a family or a couple and you have one or two, non-season adventurers, I would definitely consider them in this process. You want them to enjoy it and come back with you, right? So, a couple questions I would pose to those non-season adventurers, the new campers. First would be geography. Where are you guys gonna be traveling? Now, if you're up in the Northwest and there's mountains and forests and it's just generally cooler in that region, then you may want to consider the air vent. Whereas, if you live in that Georgia humidity, then the air conditioner may be for you. Second thing I would ask them is just what are their personal likes? Are they a person that prefers the cold weather or do they prefer the warm weather? Third, if they prefer cold weather, are they gonna be traveling to warmer weather? Is that in the plans? Ultimately, this can help guide you. And for the seasoned adventurers who are used to sleeping on a bag of rocks, then you may just start with an air vent and that may be all the upgrade you need. 
Now that we've talked about a couple questions to consider, let's get into some of the product features. Currently, at the time of filming this video, we are using the Dometic Penguin 2 air conditioner. What's great about this air conditioner is it's actually meant for bigger RVs with multiple rooms. So the Penguin 2 is paired with a control panel that actually has multiple cooling zones. And so what does that mean for us here in the van? Well, we obviously only have one room. And so essentially the air conditioner, instead of running at max output, will run at a lower wattage for the majority of the time. And this is, this is paired with a simplified control panel to make it super simple. So, if you're someone that's low maintenance and super simple, not super tech savvy, no worries, we got you taken care of. So essentially how this works, all we're going to do is hit the power button on your control panel, which is mounted above the slide door. So we'll hit the power button, the screen will turn blue, that wakes the screen up. You hit it again, you're gonna hit the fan mode and you'll have high, low, medium setting there which you can control with the arrows. And then you'll hear it kick on. Once the air conditioner is on, simply direct airflow by opening and closing your four vents on either side of the air conditioner. You can also have the air blow directly down by adjusting the airflow lever. There are a lot of questions about the physical dimensions of the air conditioner and how much interior headroom space that the air conditioner takes. You can see right here that it only drops about two inches, so it doesn't actually drop any further than our ceiling track is actually mounted. So that's all I have for you here on the air conditioner today. Do note that we are built on a passenger van, so as far as driving with passengers or yourself, you do have air conditioning in the van to that regard as well. The rear air conditioning is actually independent of the front cabin air conditioning, so your rear controls will be found here above the cab, and your up front cab controls will be found down low. So, Keep that in mind and we'll see you guys on the next video.